This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and I just uh, thought that it's time I show you guys what I have been building in the last month. I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I've built. I'm still busy with the skyscraper. I haven't even started the interior. I'm still busy finishing up the outside of the skyscraper but I'll show you that in a later video. So I just want to show you um, the things that I've built within the, you know, the last few weeks. So we're going to speed up the traveling since the traveling is actually quite boring and we are traveling very very far. But I just want to give you some uh, ideas of the two or three things that I've built in between the time when I finished the ship up to the time when I do the skyscraper. Okay, here we go. So before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. This was one of the villages that I found that I showed you guys in the previous video. Now, there wasn't much to do in the village, but the only thing I did was, um, as I went to discover the area, I found that there's a piece of village that is down, down, down the mountainside, right at the bottom, but there was no way to get to the bottom. So the only thing I added was this walkway, and I added steps that will take you down from the top, straight down to the bottom village. There are two main docks here, so I guess um, you would come in with a ship from wherever you're coming from to visit this village and then drop off your equipment or drop off any um, stock, food, clothing or whatever you want to stop and drop off. Or the guys can take their ships from here or boats and go and fish. So this is more like a little fishing village, I think. But yeah. Oh, and uh, I also built that bridge. That bridge was also added when I went to build my tree house which will be the next area that we will be visiting. house so I had to actually build this tree from scratch since you guys know trees don't always grow in the way that you want them to grow so I actually had to 
build a tree right from the ground up and build it the shape I wanted it and I added the leaves the branches and then I started building the house within the tree and once the house was finished I just added some of the vines and stuff to make it look a bit more trish I also hit the main entrance between the trees so you won't just find it unless you come up the stairs like this and just carry on so this is my tree house that I've built from scratch and here we go into the main entrance of the house it's a double story house uh, nothing's funny nothing new you've got your kitchen area here with your um, table where you can sit and eat a little couch that you can rest on some books that you can read and then um, going up to the second story you'll find the bedroom and also a balcony that goes out and overlooks the area from uh, map tables crafting tables and whatever you need jukebox for music and then your bed itself I did mention before that there's about six nether portals all over this place since I started exploring and one of those portals are here inside the mountain but I will build a road or something that will go there a bit later on to um, find it but yeah this is an overview of my treehouse now let's go back to the main farm and from there on I'll show you my castle in the mountain We start off by the village here just on the other side of the castle where we will um, go to the next train station which I've built. There's a couple of train stations here, one that goes to uh, Nethergate and then from there on it will go straight to that castle that I've built. So I'm going to basically fast forward the whole traveling because this takes about 10 minutes just to travel normal speed from here to that castle. So I'm going to definitely hightail it. the lookout point. I couldn't let this part go, I had to build something here. So the idea of the lookout point is to have your guard stationed at the top to see if there's any issues or problems. Then they will light a signal fire to let the people inside the castle know there's problems or trouble coming. So I'm just going to quickly show you what the lookout point looks like. You're first going to go up the steps obviously because you have to go straight to the top. And then halfway through, there's like a halfway house where the soldiers can sleep, rest, make their food, whatever they want. And then you get the other guards that's stationed right at the top, they'll keep a lookout. So here's the halfway house. And you will have two, well, two sets of guards. You'll have the one on shifts at the top and the others resting and then they will rotate as the day goes by or as the hours go by. And let's say rotate every um, eight hours you will have someone rotate so this one just goes straight to the top and if I'm a nice tree 
and find a nice fire where the guys can sit and <laughs> relax or do whatever. And it's also a bed for nappy time. So the guards here are very laid back. And that's the castle. So uh, let's go to the castle and I'll show you what that looks like. Let's call it a, a summer retreat or getaway. If the king is tired of doing his work there in the other castle, this will be like the, the getaway area. This is the only entrance into this castle, so if you don't know about it, you will never find it. And there is plenty, plenty of steps. So um, if you want to live here, you've got to be fit. Here we have the main entrance with a portcullis. Then, as you see, I've used the, the mountain itself to build the castle inside the mountain. I didn't want to change it too much. Coming down here, you will find the cellar, the wine cellar, with plenty of wine for me to drink, yay. Going back up, we're gonna go into the main building. Um, this one is for me a bit fancier than the other castle or the main castle so here we've got the living room then we go into the throne room so there must be a throne room now this you'll recognize my style this is the way i like to build a throne room not the way that the fortress build gave us because that was not for me a, a nice design i like it spacious and big and then uh, here we go into the living areas itself First of all, we're going to find a guest bedroom. So we've got a nice guest bedroom. Um, let's see. This will be the kitchen where we prepare the food. Nice. Everything you need. And then uh, going to the next room. Here we find a second guest bedroom. Whatever you need. We also have a library with an enchantment table and everything. So if you want to cast some spells, or read up on some spells, whatever you can do it there. We've got the dining room with a nice dining table. So this is where we'll all come together to eat. I also have a little workroom. That's nice way in here where we have everything we need: crafting tables, smithing tables stone cutters whatever we need to do whatever we need then going up the next step next floor you find my bedroom there so I've got a nice big main bedroom with my own bathroom and in my bathroom I've got a bathtub as well as a shower so I am definitely organized and then going out and up we'll go to my outside garden where I can actually sit and relax and look at the view and that's about that this is the whole thing it's not very elaborate not very big not much that i did here planted some flowers just made it look nice there's my little bench and the steps is just if you need to do maintenance on the beacon you can go up here and do maintenance so that's it guys this is then my entire build this is everything that i've built up to the skyscraper which I've been busy building for the last month and I'm still not done with it so if you like this video 
remember to give me a thumbs up also subscribe to this channel hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my next upload which will probably be the skyscraper and then whatever you do until next time guys keep it safe and be safe until next time cheers <laughs>